Hi folks, Jeff Browner here from VersaChalk. Here today to show you how to install our tilting davit systems. So, each of our davit kits, you're going to receive um, two of the uh, tilting davit arms, which are removable, as well as um, you're going to receive four uh, threaded deck plates. These deck plates are going to be mounted to the deck permanently, um, as well as you're going to receive the bolts that uh, attach the davit arms into the threaded deck plates. And that's all that's needed to hold them in place. Um, you're also going to receive an owner's manual with your kit, as well as some uh, installation tips and a, uh, a diagram showing you how everything gets laid out in the kit as well. Now, what you're going to need to install the kit is um, you're going to need 12 number 10 screws. Of course, you want to make sure you get the right length to go through your, uh, through your decking as well as uh, lock nuts and um, backing washers, which we prefer to use and recommend uh, a three quarter inch diameter. Seems to work very well. Um, as far as tools, um, just some general tools, you're gonna need a, a 3 16 drill bit, three quarter inch hole saw, and a countersinking bit, um, as well as uh, some tape, uh, marker and pencil, drill, and a uh, tape measure. And of course, uh, some good marine sealant to help seal everything up when you install the deck plates. So, uh, without further ado, uh, we can get started on our install here. So, the first thing we want to do um, in trying to figure out where we want to put our tilting davits is to um, figure out how we want to locate the tender on the platform. Um, so there's a few different methods of how to do this. Uh, what we're going to show you today is uh, fairly detailed and um, it should at least give you some good references of how you can get your proper location set up. So the first thing we want to do is figure out where we're going to place the, uh, the tender on the platform. So we do have a, a rigid hull tender here I'm going to bring into the picture. And um, what we can show you is that... Uh, you want to make sure your tender is completely within the, the beam of the boat. So you don't want any kind of water coming around the sides and catch your outboard or the bow. So um, what we're going to first do is try to take a measurement um, to get from where the back of the outboard skeg is going to be to the transom of our tender. That will give us a good start point uh, to figure out you know, where we'll be able to uh, locate the tender on the boat. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a measurement from the, from the back tip of the outboard and we're going to go to the, um, the transom of the tender and I'm going to eyeball it basically right to the, to the bottom here because we know that's where the tender is going to be resting um, on the davits and, and the platform there. So we're going to take a measurement here and this is going to be 30 inches. I'm going to move these out of the way just for the time being here. So now what I'm going to do is um, take that measurement from the outboard back to the transom and that's going to be uh, 30 inches so take a mark um, right about here. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pause here because what I want to show you guys is uh, I want to get this rib flipped over uh, upside down so I can show you kind of how the davits are going to be placed on the bottom of the, the rigid hull here. So if you bear with me just a minute, I'm going to get this flipped over and we'll continue the installation. Okay, now we're back. Alright, so the next thing we want to do, I want to show you, you may, you may or may not want to flip your rib upside down or may not have the ability to, if it has a council or whatever, um, but um, I do want to show you, uh, just for reference, um, now, how these are going to be able to be placed on, um, on the, uh, the bottom of the, the hull. So, I'm going to set this one right about here. And the front davit, we're going to want to go right about here. Let's take a measurement. We know that this was supposed to be five, it looks like we're right at five inches there. So, I'm going to take and put a mark 5 inches from the 30 inches. So, I know my, my measurement I took here, we were at 30, and then another 5 to the 
the half davit, and now I'm going to take a dimension between these two here, and I'm right at about uh, right at about 32, and so I'm going to go from the center. This is my first davit center line at the half. I'm going to do my 32 inches, put another mark right here, and that's going to be that's going to be my front davit. So now I know that my two davits are going to be here. And here. Okay, so I'm all done with the tender now. Um, so the next step is going to be laying out the deck plates and then uh, we install the deck plates. So let's do this. We're going to get these out of the way. So what I like to do is um, I like to, to put a nice tape line for the center line of my davits and eyeball them and then measure them. Make sure they're parallel. We had and I'm going to eyeball a nice line, and I like to use the right side of my tape as the center line of my data, because that's exactly where I measured them from. So I'm going to put another one on the forward one here. Oops, let's do that again. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So those are where the center lines of my davits are going to be. Now the next step is going to be figuring out where my deck plates are going to be located. All right, so each of the davit arms, look here, have four holes, two on the fore side and then two on the aft side. So what we're going to do, each arm uses two deck plates and we like to stagger them. So we're going to put one deck plate on on one side of the davit arm and then going towards the other end we're going to put it on the opposite side okay and the reason why we put four holes here is no matter how you install these on your on your uh, platform the deck plates if you ever want to move these interchange them you're not going to have to worry about moving your deck plates so you're only going to use two out of the four holes um, the other thing to keep in mind when we're locating these is that each one of these slats on the davit arms are one inches so I know the spacing side to side for my deck plates is going to be two inches. All right, so in the, uh, the install diagram that we provide, um, we define the, uh, the location for the first deck plate near the edge of the platform it needs to be about an inch and a quarter back from the edge of the platform. So I'm going to make a mark one and a quarter inches from the edge of the platform. And then this deck plate, I want to be on that side of the davit arm. So I'm going to go for my center line. I'm just going to go over one inch and make a mark. So that's going to set the location for that deck plate. So now I know the one that is going to be forward toward in the boat position is going to be on the opposite side. And according to the diagram we provide, the spacing from the front deck plate to the back deck plate is going to be 20 and a quarter inches. So if I add that to the one and a quarter inch setback we had here, 21 and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and put a mark here. 21 and a half inches back. Facing between my deck plates. And then from the center of the davit over this way, I want to go one inch. Okay, that's going to set the locations for those two deck plates. Now I want to do the same exact thing for the other side. So we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break move some of the stuff out of the way, we'll bring the camera in so we can show you a close-up how we install the deck plates next. And we're back. We're going to use a three-quarter inch bit. Basically, you want to make sure you're going just a little bit, just a tad bigger than this plug, uh, so you're going to have clearance to be able to get your, um, your holes for your number 10 screws. All right, so here we go. Uh, since we're most likely going to be going through gel coat into fiberglass, which this is just wood for our presentation, uh, a tip is to normally start in reverse and try to get through your gel coat before you start drilling forward. And then you can go forward and then we're going to just drill right on through. Okay, oops, bit came loose there. Wanted it out anyway so we can put the next bit in. Alright, so now I'm going to put my 3 16 inch bit which is going to be for my uh, next holes, which we're going to mark here. So 
This drops in nice and uh, tight here. So um, the way I like to orientate it, I just prefer to have my um, holes orientated this way. Uh, it just looks nice and also it gives us a tad more clearance from the edge to these bottom holes here. So I'm just going to take a Sharpie and be careful I do not get any mark on my nice polished stainless steel here. Mark each of these three holes. Again, if you're going through gel coat, you're going to want to go in reverse first and then go forward. Um, now another tip, of course this is wood for the presentation, but in, um, when I'm working with uh, decking that has gel coat, I like to use a countersunk bit and just round off the edges a little bit. That's going to help prevent any chipping of the, the gel coat. Okay, so we're ready to install the plug. Next thing you're going to want to do is to take a good marine sealant, maybe a 5200, this happens to be a Starbright 8200, whatever your choice. And um, I like to, to use this in each one of the holes, as well as the deck plug hole here too. And what I, I like to do is take one of these, just a, it's just a kebab skewer, works nicely. I can actually work all of the sealant and coat all of the lamination here to make sure that if uh, any water moisture ever did get in, it's not going to delaminate your glass. And then finally, um, I like to put a bead of sealant right around the outside here so when I put the deck plug in, I'm going to be able to get this sealed out too. You don't want any water getting trapped underneath there, etc. So, um, next thing we're going to do is just drop in our number 10 screws. We're going to get our, uh, our backer washers and lock nuts on here. We're going to pause the camera, we're going to go ahead and finish up these other three and we'll get back uh, with, um, move the cameras out and we can show you how we install the uh, davits in the final steps. Okay, we're back again. Alright, so we have all of our deck plates installed. Uh, so the only thing left to do is pop our uh, tilting davits in place with the two bolts. Uh, the big bolt is going to go towards the edge of the platform here and the shorter bolt is going to go forward. So we're just going to get these located on the threaded deck plates, get them started here. That's it. So our installation is complete. Double check, make sure they tilt nicely. Everything seems to work fine. Be sure to add adequate tie downs to secure your watercraft and your installation is complete. Thanks for watching.